Okay, this is going to be a review for your math test next Wednesday. Um, the test is going to be pulled from units 27, units 44, units 60, and units 62. If you need to contact me if I'm not here, you can email me at morrism at octech.edu. The first thing we're going to be discussing is tolerances. And under number three for A, this is copied right out of your textbook. Dimension A equals 4.640 plus 3 thousandths minus nothing. That means we can add 3 thousandths to that number for our maximum dimension at 4.634 thousandths. And the minimum will stay the same at 4.640. If you notice on C, dimension A equals 2.004 or or two and four thousandths of an inch. It says plus nothing minus four. So that means that the maximum is going to stay the same. The minimum we can subtract four thousandths from it and it's going to be two inches. Now under number four says that the oh, it says that um, 2.812 plus or minus um, these have these are bilateral tolerances plus or minus six thousandths so we can add and subtract from this number and be within the range so if we add six thousandths to that uh, 2.812 the maximum is going to be 2.818 and the minimum is going to be 2.806 or two and eight hundred six thousandths of an inch under C we have a plus or minus ten thousandths the number we're shooting for is 3.971 and so that means we can add 10 thousandths to that number at 3.981 and the minimum is going to be 3.961 that was pretty simple okay under this one we are looking at on page 288 fundamentals of plane geometry it says express the following decimal degrees as degrees and minutes when necessary round the answer to the nearest total minute. All we do with that, they have 13.50 degrees. They want to change this to uh, degrees and minutes. So if you type in 13.50 equals second function DMS for degrees, minutes, and seconds, you will get 30 degrees, 30 minutes. Same goes with the next category. They're taking this one to degrees, minutes, and seconds. If you type in 52.1380 equals second function DMS for degrees, minutes, and seconds, it will convert it for you automatically to 52 degrees, 8 minutes, 17 seconds. This one here, we're going the opposite direction. They already have it in degrees and minutes, and they want to change it to a decimal form. It says round the answer to two decimal places. If you go beyond that, it's going to be wrong. Okay. Uh, it's, so if you take 22 DMS, 40 DMS equals second function DMS, it will take you back to a decimal form. It will probably be beyond three decimal, two decimal places. If the third one, however, is a 5, that 7 would change to an 8. If it's a 4, it remains the same. This one, we're, at, we're rounding to four decimal places. We're taking the degrees, minutes, and seconds, same way we did in this category. So if you take 28 DMS, 18 DMS, 30 DMS equals second function DMS, you will have a decimal form rounded to four decimal places is 28.3083. Okay, we're still in unit 44. Under this one here, under number 42, they want to know what angle one is. That's no more than adding 68 degrees, 31 degrees, and 29 degrees, and it will equal 128 degrees. For number 46, the one right across from it, it's the same thing. We, if you type in your calculator, 43 DMS, 32 DMS, 6 DMS, 
plus 15 DMS, 18 DMS, 27 DMS, all those stand for degrees, minutes, and seconds. Your answer should be 58 degrees, 50 minutes, 33 seconds. I'm not saying these are the only two that's going to be on the test, but they'll all be similar. For the next page, we're on page 291. They want to figure out what angle 6 is. All of these are the same. Angle 1 equals angle 2 equals angle 3 equals angle 4 equals angle 5. So what we do with that is we just take 54 degrees, um, 3 minutes, and you multiply it by 5. So that means that angle 6 equals 270 degrees, 15 minutes. Now, for number 73, determine why. All of these are here, so all you have to do now is we have 360 degrees in a circle. We have seven sections or seven pieces of pie or whatever you want to call it. So if you take 360 divided by 7, it will equal 51 deg uh, degrees, 25 minutes, and 43 seconds. For number four, uh, 74, we also have 360 degrees here. Minus 49 degrees would equal 311 degrees. We have four sections here, so if you take 311 minus the four, I mean divided by four, it equals 77.75. However, they want it in degrees, minutes, and seconds. So if you take 77.75 second function DMS, it will be 77 degrees, 45 minutes. So the answer for number 74 is 77 degrees, 45 minutes. Okay, we're in Unit 60, page 419. Under the first one here, they want to know what sine 36 is. That's no more than hitting sine 36 equals. Here's the number that you're going to come with. It says round it to five decimal places. So we count them off. One, two, three, four, five. The sixth one is a five. So that means that this fifth number, eight, right here changes to a nine. Let's see how much more time we have. Up to seven minutes, okay. All right, let's go to the next slide. This one is in unit 62. Uh, we have sine, cosine, tangent, opposite over the hypotenuse, adjacent over the hypotenuse, and the opposite over the adjacent. This is the example for tangent, okay. And this one right here, we have the opposite side at being 1.7 and the adjacent side at 2.3. So if you take 1.7 divided by 2.3, it equals this number, second function tangent, and you will have 36.4692 and some more numbers here. Then if you hit second function DMS, you will have 36 degrees, 28 minutes, 9.2 seconds. Round it off for just 36 degrees 28 minutes. For your next example for cosine, cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. The adjacent side is 4.360. Your hypotenuse is the longest leg of the triangle at 5.870. So now if we take the adjacent side which is 4.360 divided by 5.870, it equals this number. Second function cosine equals 42.03295 and some more numbers. Then if you hit second function DMS, it's going to equal 42 degrees, one minute, and um, 5.8 seconds. So we're, I mean 58 seconds. So we're going to round that off at 2 minutes. So it will be rounded to 42 degrees, 2 minutes. Your last example for this for sine will be the opposite over the hypotenuse. Your opposite side is 10.0, your hypotenuse is 18.5. Um, so if you divide that, 10 divided by 18.5 equals this number. 
And if you go second function sine, it's going to be 32.72, blah, blah, blah. Second function DMS will take you to your degrees and minutes. So that would be 32 degrees, 43 seconds, I mean minutes. Here's an example for determining the length when the, when the angle and one side of the triangle are known. Example one, we are looking for this is going to be a tangent formula because we know that we have an opposite side and an adjacent side. So this time what we're going to do is x is going to be over to 6.8 since x is the opposite side. So since we do not know what the top number is, that means we're going to have to multiply it. So if you take the tangent of 40 degrees 10 minutes equals this number times 6.8 equals 5.73966 and if you round it it's going to be 5.74 so that means that x equals 5.74 I'm taking the same numbers and I'm just reversing the, the the order this time I know what the opposite side is but I don't know what the adjacent side is so this time it's going to be a division problem since the number on the top I uh, can identify that as 5.74, we're going to divide that by the tangent of 40 degrees 10 minutes equals this number. And so if we round that off, it's going to be rounded at 6.8. Y equals 6.8. So if you noticed up here in our other example, it's a, it's a good way of checking yourself to see if that's right. Example 3 is a cosine. Now we have the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So the adjacent side, we don't know what that is, but we know we have 15 degrees and 12 minutes here. So if we take the cosine of 15 degrees, 12 minutes, or cosine 15 DMS, 12 DMS, that equals this number. If we multiply that times the hypotenuse of 9.12, we get this number of 8.8, .8 whatever, a bunch of numbers. If we round it two decimal places, 8.8. .8. So that means that R equals 8.8. .8. Down here, same process as before. We're going to take the same thing. So we'd have the cosine at the, um, the adjacent side happens to be 8.8. .8. .8. We do not know what the hypotenuse is. It's going to be a division problem. We know that top number, 8.8 .8 divided by the cosine of 15 degrees, 9 minutes, I mean 12 minutes, equals 9.1190 and some, some other numbers. If we round that to two decimal places, the third place being five or larger, that means that the answer is going to be 9.12. The last one now for example 5 and 6, we're going to solve for C. Or we're working with sine, and sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Here's the opposite side, here's the hypotenuse. So we do not know what the top number is, so that means it's going to be a multiplication problem. So we take the sine 55 DMS, 30 DMS, and we equals times 90.45, the number is 74.54221. One, three, and all that good stuff. If we round it to two decimal places, that tells us that C equals 74.54. Here we're doing just the opposite. We know what the um, opposite side is, but we do not know what the hypotenuse is. The opposite side is 74.54. And so if we um, take 75.54 divided by the sine of 55 degrees 30 minutes. It equals this number, rounded to two decimal places, is 90.45. Thanks for watching.